Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Hask here, my Sith warrior on Nor Shadar. And this may be the final part of the series where we spend some time on the Smuggler's Moon. We are here in the Network Access Sector to answer the duel issued by Lord Rafari. In addition, a Major Damaris has asked for our aid in this sector. Before we get ourselves underway... Ooh, we actually had another ability. Nice. So we have Intercede, which allows us to leap to a nearby friendly target. So I suppose we'll grab that. We also have Saber Reflect. Reflects all direct single target range force or tech attacks back to the attacker for three seconds. Ah, okay. Interesting. Also, I think we have, yeah, our final utility point in the Masterful Tree. I mean, we could put it into the Skillful Tree as well, but... Okay, Smash slows enemies. Immunity. Immunity. Damage reduction. I'll take Sonic Wall, which gives a small shield to my companions. Which I suppose could be useful when we're doing flashpoints. I can't decide if I'm going to be doing any PvP content with Hask. I look at his skills and realise he could be very good in PvP. Well, some PvP anyway. But I am very rusty, and then I would have to rejuggle his utilities, which, to be fair, could be done very easily. But for now, we'll leave it alone. Here's our Imperial base of operations. Another hut here. A moment, if you please, my lord. Major Damaris, Ministry of War. Your skills are needed for a mission of great urgency. What's this got to do with that hut? My associate, Kabura the Hut. His cartel operates the Network Access District. The central hub for the entire galactic holonet. This is a major threat to Imperial security. Breaching the hut's defenses and assuming this level of control should have been impossible. We need you to investigate. Immediately. All you want me to do is investigate? No. If it is within your power, you will also eliminate this threat as quickly as possible. Your skills make you uniquely suited to deal with this. The main data center is almost impenetrable. A series of well-guarded consoles is spread throughout network access, each with its own time-sensitive code. Get all the codes, then hurry to the data center. Once you reach the data center access terminal with all of the timed codes, we'll contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? Get the codes, blast the consoles, call you when I'm there. Best of luck. Interesting. So we were just talking about how essential network access is to the galaxy. And someone is trying to take control. Physically, that is. Not only that, that... Not only that, but Kabura, they were saying that the droids normally in this sector 
they've lost their uh, communications with. Lovely, what a marvelous specimen. You're no stranger to the blade, so ripe for augmentation. You could be so beautiful. Are you always this forthcoming? I spend most of my time gazing inside strangers. We are not so close now. The Empire sees the beauty of my work. They're prepared to offer me a lucrative contract for my latest reflux booster. I just have to assure them that the product performs to specifications. You could help me highlight their effectiveness. So what exactly do you want me to do? I've been selling my implants to a rather vicious band of gangsters at cost. Now I need to show how much they've improved. Deploy this medical probe before provoking them, and it will record their performance. Simple, yes? Define provoking them. Just walking through their turf is justification for violence in their small minds. Don't hold back. This should be a true test. <laughs> The Doctor here normally didn't have a... He didn't speak in galactic standard. We'll deal with uh, the street skifters before long. First things first, let's uh, try to gain access to, well, network access. Bonus mission to terminate 15 security droids. Terminal gives us the master access code. And then we just need the three smaller timed codes, and then we can proceed further. <laughs> And he has the final access code. to the data terminal. You've input the codes. Excellent. Kabora. Rundi Kaba, Kyotopa, Bubanda Bakamur Janita. Then this is it. Hurry into the data center, locate the saboteur, and eliminate him. I will accomplish it. Be ready for anything. Dammer us out. Ah! 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 Ah!
We have another bonus mission to defeat 15 more droids inside the data center. You have arrived. I am Axis, the knowledge seeking. You see, I am completely untouchable. We will now come to an arrangement that benefits us both. Why should the Empire consider an arrangement? I am learning all things, all information, all secrets, all data in the galaxy. I will gladly relay all I learned to your Empire. But I must remain here. That is the arrangement you are going to accept. I survive, and the Empire gains knowledge and advantage. How can I be sure you're telling the truth? I will uphold the arrangement. It would be irrational for me to do otherwise. You have reached me once, you could do so again. The arrangement depends on secrecy. The Huts will not tolerate my presence here. Therefore, they must believe I have been killed. Large generators power this facility. You will overload all but the backup. The facility will be devastated, and I will appear to have been killed. What about the backup generator? The backup generator will operate normally, to continue powering my shields. That is how I will survive the destruction of the facility. The generators are well defended. Tread carefully, and be prepared for the rewards of infinite knowledge. <laughs> So, it falls back on to, can we trust this individual we know very little about? and overload the various generators here. Major generator. I 
one now. Do we leave this one running and let Access survive? Or do we choose to overload this generator as well? Guaranteeing his death. Major Damaris should be pleased with this arrangement. Hopefully the Republic don't uh, discover what we've done. Because if they send an agent in here, he might be willing to share the Imperial secrets as well. <laughs> Come in. This is Major Damaris. I've already been contacted by this so-called Axis. Very impressive. In a matter of minutes, I've received the travel itineraries of every Republic Senator for the next six months. I'm pleased to have served. We're fortunate to have your assistance. The Hutts are unaware of anything unusual. Their backup systems are already starting up. Network Access survives another day. I must report to the Minister of War. Your assistance in this matter will not be forgotten. Damaris out. Excellent. Ooh. I was just thinking that we weren't getting, we didn't get a headpiece for this aftermarket armor set. Right, so let's find these uh, st street skifters. We need to find some of the gunslingers and cutthroats. to test their capabilities. Not impressed so far, I have to say. So we have a bonus of the twenty. Bonus to defeat 20 of the skifters in total. And the cutthroats are over this way. considered upstanding somehow <laughs> back and see the good doctor. Turn in this quest and then go see Lord Rafari. Accept his uh, 
accept his duel. And if it turns into a trap, then we of course have Republic reinforcements of our own. What marvelous entertainment and my test subjects actually put up a fight. There will be no doubts about quality after this. Come, let's make sure you aren't left wanting. course. He, uh, he summoned us to a duel, but he's left hostiles in our way. <laughs> Trying to soften us up. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delacon, Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant, and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death? You will die in agony. Delacon and everything he knows of your master's operations are mine now. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barriss' deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. A Sith Lord should be a man of his word. So naive. Lies and deception are important weapons in every Sith's arsenal. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. Your men are going to be a little busy with my men. That's the signal, men! Let's go! I see now. I've underestimated your resourcefulness. Men, make quick work of these Republic fools. Attack! Oh, 
I yield. Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. The threat Delicon posed to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. You shouldn't have killed him. Why? Barris would not have accepted a show of mercy, and you must not cross him. Yet. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barris's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. <sighs> the fact that you tried to kill me there really sways me away from letting you live. Well, the fact that he tried to use it through lies and deception. I expected him to try and kill me, but... If it had been an honorable duel, I may have just let him live. I make you my minion to be called into service when I see fit. Yes. I shall wait with patience for your summons. I leave you to your business, my lord. Remember, I am at your disposal whenever you may seek to topple Barras. I may call on you. I may not. I will live out my days hoping for the chance. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You have served me well, Commander. Leave in peace. All right, men. You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. <sighs> Glad this is finally over. Maybe we can go back to the ship and get off this rock, huh? You haven't enjoyed Narshadarvet? What's to enjoy? So dark and scummy? Ugh. Gives me the creeps. I just can't wait to get back to my quarters and grab some shut-eye. <laughs> I suppose I'm not killing Lord Rafari, we won't then upset the Dark Council. So, our time here in Arshadar has come to an end. I'm not sure how Darth Barris will feel about us not killing his rival. But he should be pleased that his spy has been removed, which is the whole reason we were here in the first place. You have done well, my apprentice. Delicon eliminated, and Lord Rathori dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladron Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. 
You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. The time has come to set our sights on Noman Carr and his gifted Padawan. It seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Noman Carr has been busy. Enlighten me, Master. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. Send me to this spaceport. Perhaps Carr is there, and I can end this. Noman Carr is a master of the Jedi arts. Do not take him lightly. I've sent the coordinates to your mainframe. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. <laughs> okay. Our, night, our time on Narshadar has come to a close. But it seems people have taken an interest. Someone is tracking our ship. And Darth Barris believes it's Norman Carr himself. Oh. Before we park ourselves, getting a, getting a little ahead of myself. Speaking of, level 52. We now have revenge. <laughs> Parrying, deflecting, shielding, or resisting an attack has a 50% chance to grant revenge, reducing the rage consumed by your next force scream or vicious flow by, throw by one. This can stack up to three times. Hmm. Okay. So, level 56, followed by level 58, 9, and 60 for our next abilities. Oh, well. Any new skills? Probably not, no. This will drop off this armor set once again. This was the Corellian armor set. Oh, yeah, yeah, Corellian. Right. A few companion gifts to store away. Perfect. Right. We'll take a small break, and when we come back, we'll head over to this, yeah, this orbital monitoring station before we set our sights on Norman Carr and his apprentice. Thank you all for joining me once again here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic as a Sith warrior once again. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now. <laughs>